scientists appeared back some 13 billion years to a time just after the Big Bang. This time, they discovered a swarm of supermassive black holes. Astronomers from Japan, Taiwan, and Princeton University were hunting quasars. They found 83 of them powered by supermassive black holes from a time when the universe was less than 10% of its present age. The research appears in a series of five papers published in the Astrophysical Journal and the publications of the Astronomical Observatory of Japan. Quasars are extremely remote and bright sources of energy. These incredible sources of light radiate more energy at once than 100 galaxies combined. Michael Strauss, a professor of astrophysics at Princeton, dubbed the study of these quasars and black holes one of the biggest challenges faced by scientists today. Astronomers find it remarkable that such massive, dense objects were able to form so soon after the Big Bang. The mass of supermassive black holes equals hundreds of millions or even billions of suns. We often find them at the center of most galaxies, including our Milky Way. It is still unclear when they first formed and how many existed in the distant early universe. Even though black holes themselves are invisible, they become pretty obvious when gas accretes onto it, causing it to shine as a quasar. The research team used data taken with a cutting-edge instrument, Hyper Suprime Cam, mounted on the Subaru telescope of the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan. The telescope lies on the summit of Mauna Kea in Hawaii. Hyper Suprime Cam has a gigantic 1.77 square degree field of view, or seven times the area of the full moon mounted on one of the largest telescopes in the world. The Hypersuprime Cam team surveys the sky over the course of 300 nights of telescope time, spread over five years. The team selected distant quasar candidates from the sensitive Hypersuprime Cam survey data. They then carried out an intensive observational campaign to obtain spectra of those candidates using three telescopes. The Subaru Telescope, the Gran Telescopio Canarias on the island of La Palma in the Canaries, Spain, and the Gemini Telescope in Chile. The scientists involved in the research now hope to find even more supermassive black holes from the universe's distant past. Did you know that the moon flies through the Earth's atmosphere? Observations show the distant cloud of hydrogen atoms that make up the outermost part of Earth's atmosphere stretches beyond the moon, almost twice the distance to the moon. A new study says this gaseous layer that wraps around Earth, known as Geocorona, reaches up to 391,464 miles away. These observations could be done only at certain times of the year, when the Earth and its Geocorona came into view for the SOHO's instruments, SWAN, short for Solar Wind Anisotropies. SWAN used its sensitive sensors to trace the hydrogen signatures and precisely detect how far the very outskirts of the Geocorona are. If you like this channel and want to support us, please subscribe and hit the bell icon.